Misses the play, has no responsibility in coverage, and takes a gamble and goes against the quarterback. Well, is that a spot, though, where when he's coming, the quarterback needs to be able to find somebody or not necessarily? Has to, because with that amount of time coming from the free safety position, someone should break open. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. It'll go as a gain of 10 on a Kansas City first down. Screen. It's Yeldon. Space to run past the 20. A really good pickup of 28 yards. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. But really, And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Alex Smith, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Partner, it wasn't that long ago that when I talked with these NFL coaches about different innovations in the college game, you can see their eyes roll and they, they just shut down right away. Don't bring me that Joe College stuff. Well, guess what? The college game has definitely infiltrated its way into the NFL. Yeah, yeah and, so, and these guys, when you're seeing the option defensively, you got to stick to your assignments. I know that's cliche. They didn't do it there. And option football means exactly what you just talked about, assignment football for defenders. And that drives them crazy because you have to think. way through a play as opposed to just reacting and making the play and Denver getting set to take the field and they had to wait a long time to get the football back probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's coming agreed what you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly right hoping for a three and out so that didn't happen you can't yell at your D for that they've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field when you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. To throw on second is Simeon. He finds Malcolm Mitchell here. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down, Demarius Thomas, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Well, in tapping those toes, he tried to get both in bounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put a little sand down on the stage. I'll take your word for it, my man. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. So it can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. Meanwhile, in Los Angeles, an update from there. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Derek Carr with one touchdown pass thus far. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Broncos right now have a time of possession advantage, but it has not led them to taking control of this game. The Chiefs, though, are still right in this game and will certainly be looking for a way to pull this one out in the second half. All right, let's do this. Here's the first half highlights. Now midway through the first, Thomas is able to get open here. 
and he kept off the long drive with a touchdown. The Broncos go up by four. Broncos ball early in the second. Simeon's gonna head outside to the right, and he ends up rushing in for his second touchdown. The lead now at 11. Now first and 10, Hilden has got nobody around him on the catch. And he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the two-yard line. Continuing on the drive, Smith's going to duck out to the left, and he'll go in from two yards out. This cuts the deficit to four. All right, Larry, thank you. A fairly tight game here as we get set to resume play in this second half. on to kick this one off. This is taken at his four. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. They'll run it again with Yelda. And Going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Illegal block in the back. Offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. After the penalty, it's Yeldon. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Smith now on third down. Broncos get there and take him down. Shaquille Barrett able to drop him for a loss of two, and that'll bring up fourth down. You know, on these plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Here we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches? 